Yo, what is up, YouTube? Man, y'all know who it is. It's your boy Just Place Plays. Welcome back to another straight banger for y'all boys, man. Now, before we continue with the video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and turn on the post notifications so you don't miss a video from me and be a part of the Blaze Gang. You feel me? So, without further ado, let's get straight into the video, man. Now, as y'all see in the title, my dogs, we got the three-point playmaker build tutorial. Finally, this is what you guys have been asking for for so long, and I'm finally able to bring it to you guys with confidence, man. You feel me? Right here, I am on my three-point playmaker belt. I'm going to show you guys the badges, the attributes, and everything you guys need to become a play sharp demigod. You feel me? So the first badge I'm bringing into, I have fancy full work on bronze because I really don't need contact finisher if I only have a 70 driving dunk. So I put fancy full work for the hop steps. You feel me? Now the shooting badges, I got gold quick draw, hot start, dead eye, and hot zone hunter. And I got hall of fame rage extender and green machine. Now I did have hall of fame quick draw at one point. I just didn't like the feeling of going from my pure playmaker, which had gold shooting badges to my three-point playmaker of a Hall of Fame. So I just put quick draw on gold, right? So now my playmaking badges, I got Hall of Fame Dimer, Handles for Days, Quick First Step, Unpluckable, Tight Handles, and Silver Lob City Passer. These are all the badges that I use in the park to be goaded with my teammates and myself as well, my ISO. And yeah, those are all my playmaking, and that's what you should use on a guard build, all right? Now my defensive, got Gold Clamps, Intimidator, and Pig Dodger. Those three defensive badges are really all the badges you need for a guard build because you're not going to need like rim protector or anything like that unless you go on the one for one court for your video. But other than that, those three badges are all you need for a guard on defense. All right. Now, these are all my attribute caps. Now, keep in mind, everything that you see on the screen is exactly how it's going to be. But as you see, wherever the camera is going to be in this video, <laughs> as you see, in the top left corner I am a 96 overall you feel me I'm a 96 so everything went up one everything went up plus one towards my attributes so your ball handling won't be a 90 it'll be an 89 and your three-point won't be an 89 it'll be an 88 if that makes sense all right so everything on the screen is gonna be exactly what's gonna be like just forget the 96 overall and think of it as minus one if you're looking on the screen you feel me that's what you're gonna be so all the talk aside, let's get straight into the tutorial for this build. Let's head straight into the My Player Builder. We're gonna set the name, last name, blah, blah, blah. All the, all the regular stuff that we're used to, you feel me? I'm pretty sure I made a lot of builds. So Y'all used to seeing the screen, so none of that matters. Position is the point guard. Now, the pie chart you're gonna wanna pick is the shooting and playmaking pie chart. Now, you already knew this was gonna be the shooting and playmaking pie chart because you saw I had playmaking and shooting badges Hall of Fame. So, this is what you're going to pick is the shooting and playmaking pie chart. Now for the physical profile, you're going to want to pick the one with the most speed. For every guard build, it needs to be the pie chart with the most speed. You feel me? So let's fast forward and I'll put in all the caps that you guys need for this build. As you see, everything is filled out. I still don't know where the camera is going to be in this video. So wherever I'm pointing, don't mind me. You feel me? Don't mind me. All right. But everything on the screen is what you're gonna put for your build. So pause the video and copy all of this down. Everything on the screen, copy it all down. It's exactly how it's gonna be. Now body shape, it really doesn't matter. Me, I always pick compact because I am a guard player. I don't play small forward, center, anything. So I always pick compact. For the height, you're gonna wanna do 6'4". Now if you wanna do 6'5", that's up to you, you feel me? But in my opinion, I feel like having a 6'5 three-point playmaker is pretty slow. And as you guys know me from back then, my 6'5 was slow. That's why I made a new three-point playmaker and made him 6'4, you feel me? Now, the weight, his weight's going to be 175 pounds, which is the lowest weight for the 6'4 height. It's going to be 175. I got 92 acceleration, 71 vertical. And your strength goes down a bit, but you really don't need strength that much because you're going to be a perimeter lock, you feel me? Now... Your wingspan, your wingspan is going to be the lowest. The lowest wingspan. As you see, what goes up is your three point plus four. You have a 78 midi. You have the 89 ball handle. The mid range does not matter because you're not going to be shooting midis a lot. It's threes. And for the takeover, it doesn't matter. I pick sharp. That's what I like playing with. And as you see on the screen, 
three point playmaker my guy so y'all go ahead and make this build if you want to you feel me drop a like if you didn't already if you did enjoy the video drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new we post straight bangers on this channel man i reply to all of my subscribers i never leave y'all hanging with the comments in the comment section and uh yeah just place plays hopefully y'all enjoy and i'm out deuces